Hey guys and gals, Chartreuse here, back again uh, in the snapshot, 14W18B, and we're messing around with the new uh, slime block piston mechanics that have been introduced in this version. Sorry, it's been a while, I've been uh, quite busy with schoolwork, but hopefully this will show you some cool things. So, this seems to be a bug in this version, I'm not entirely sure why or how it works. Let's reset this. So, um, it applies to all these. I just want to show you how I first discovered it. It's using a little setup here. It was I was originally thinking of some binary counter thing that I was going to try and make. I haven't figured that out yet. Made it smaller, I don't know. But as you see, I have a one clock here running. Both these are getting powered at the same time. And once I pow power this uh, piston here, it'll start powering both these at the same time. They're both in the same state. They both power a torch to give their output. So these both should pulse the same amount, shouldn't they? But, as you can see over here, this one's going noticeably slower. There's, they both have the same 2 tick on pulse, which is expected. This one has a 4 tick off pulse. Oddly enough, and you can see it's visibly slower. It's doing about a third the speed, which it should be. I'll shut this off, it's a little annoying. You can also see there was a, the piston arm sticking through, which is a bit of another bug here. So, I was now messing around with block update detectors. I thought that was a curious. I know, so it seems to apply here too. So, here's the one everyone's familiar with probably by now. It's the one made on the Reddit, the little column block update detector. Pulse the block update, it pulses. Easy to get power out of. Uh, and then, but over here on this one, um, actually, let's remove this. This is the same thing. This is diagonally powering this one, so it's still a block update detector. Pushes up. But curiously, when you do that, watch this one, it goes into an oscillation cycle. Which, is, which you might know from other block update detectors, seems to be where it runs a bit too fast. So I'm gonna, but if I add another block here on top of it, it stops. And now it acts like this one. So it seems to be about pushing two blocks or more. It doesn't matter if you have any more in front of here. It doesn't seem to slow it down or anything. It just seems to be the two blocks in front. Maybe it's a little... I guess it doesn't matter because they dropped, but yeah. It doesn't make a difference. So I tried, tried this in other orientations. So this is the first one I tried. Uh, let me reset this. This one also oscillates. The same principle as that one. The block in front of it, it stops. And you can see, same thing as the one there with the block in front. And it doesn't seem to matter if there's a block below it or not. Like if I remove this, this one will oscillate now. So it only seems to be the ones directly in front of the piston. So here's another one. I tried it upside down. As you can see, uh, I wasn't originally intentionally on doing this, but it showed a cool feature. So these ones are offset and in front. This is another block up detector relying on a constantly powered piston in the wrong state. This one oscillates, oddly enough, even those blocks in front of it. It only stops when there's a block here in front of it. Now it acts like a block update detector, and it's night apparently. So it seems it seems to only affect this block here. This block seems to have all the effect. It doesn't matter if it's a slime block or what. I'm not gonna put a slime block, I'm just gonna pull out more of my floor. But it just seems to work as a block update detector normally. Without it, it goes into this oscillation. So it seems to be dependent on this timing we found out I found out over here. The two tick on, four tick off, which is the basis of these block update detectors, it seems. Otherwise they go into an oscillation state. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little quirk I found. Uh, maybe I'll find a find more stuff de dealing with it. Uh, maybe they'll fix it, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, it's been Chartreuse. Have a nice day.